This year's GMTK Game Jam just ended. Developers from all around the world made a game using the theme Roll of the Dice. This year's theme was interesting because it led to two things. Games that featured a lot of randomness, and games where the main character was a dice. And it's not that surprising that a number of the games submitted were made with GDevelop. So in this video, we're going to showcase the top 10 games made with GDevelop based on the ratings from the jam. Now I found these games by searching itch for games that had been tagged with GDevelop or had added it to their metadata. So let's begin with the 10th highest rated game, which is Dice by Tullenvaki Productions. Destroy incoming crappy enemies. This game doesn't have very much to do with dice or rolling, but it is fun. It has good pacing, sound effects, and overall game feel, but they probably would have ranked higher if they had incorporated the theme a little more into their game. Get ready! Next in ninth place, was Slice and Dice by Plankton Fun, a Fruit Ninja style game where you swing your mouse around to break dice into smaller versions of themselves. It's pretty satisfying in the moment, and just like Fruit Ninja, I could see myself playing this on my phone during long bus rides. Then in 8th place, was D-Dice by Oxy405. This game is a lane defense game where you swipe to throw dice down the lane to kill enemies. But when the dice reaches the end, it stops, creating a higher point for the enemy to spawn. So you need to try to match the sides of the dice to get them to go away, because otherwise the enemies will keep spawning closer and closer to the top. Next in 7th place is Lucky Roll by Dwubs, a turn-based arena shooter game where each time you move you gain power that you can use to shoot off as an attack. And it starts off pretty simple, but gets fairly difficult after a couple of waves. But it's just a game, so even though you lose, you don't really get angry about it. And in 6th place is Roll and Solve by Vegetato. It's an adorable platformer puzzle game where the dice is rolled at the beginning of a level to show you how many characters you have to control during that stage. And then you switch control between those characters and try to reach collectibles that you wouldn't be able to reach alone. And I really like how the lower you roll and the fewer number of characters you have, the larger and slower your character is. In 5th place is Magic Dice by Time Travel Hamster, which is a fun little game about slapping dice. Which you do to reach a certain number value while the entire scene floats off on its own. Standing on any piece of the level will cause it to float away, and then the enemies, which make really good bounce pads, will drift away in the most unhelpful way possible. Then in 4th place, Crap, A Crime Story by Clark Padmore. A stylish puzzle game with an interesting story that managed to fix the problem so many of these dice rolling games have, which is not being able to see the other sides of the die. While I do wish these were a different color, or were retractable, they did a lot to make the game a lot more about trying to find the right positioning, and not just a game where you roll until you happen to land on the right spot. And in third place, we have Night and Dice by Renexus Games, which is an arena brawler game that takes a game mechanic that you'd usually see in a game like 
Nuclear Throne, where you pick from three different upgrades, and changes it to apply to either you or the enemies based on a dice roll. Which is an interesting twist. The game is fun to play, but my favorite part is how all of the enemies are these, like, anthropomorphic dice people, and what I'm assuming is a Caesar dice is a really nice touch. Then in second place is Plus Q W E by Anaf30. The dice part of this game just seemed to be an aesthetic thing, but despite that, the game itself was a lot of fun once you got into the flow of it. You're basically playing keep away from the obstacles that come into the screen trying to attack your file. And the game's cutscenes? and the level of seriousness it takes with itself is really what sells the whole thing as a package. And then the top rated game on this list is Dice Loader by Sleeper Games. You spend the game loading ships up to a certain number value with a maximum number of dice, using dice values that are rolled for you. And while the gameplay boils down to just sorting dice based on their value, its pacing, atmosphere, and game feel makes it obvious as to why this game was rated so highly. The game was full of juice. You could feel the impact when you grabbed onto dice, or fired up the ship's thrusters. Everything you did had a very satisfying weight to it. I was really happy to find all of the G-Developed games submitted to this jam, and then I was impressed by the quality of those games. Everybody who submitted a game should be very proud of themselves. Making a fully functional game in 48 hours is a very difficult thing to do. One last thing before the video ends. If you missed this game jam, or you would just like to take part in another one, the second big g developed game jam begins July 29th and will run for nine days. And if you decide to join that jam, then maybe next time we'll be showing off a game that you made. <laughs>